Hello everyone, welcome back to Ayumna channel for another Awakening Curse Air content. In today's video, I'll be quickly showing you how I clear the Void Tower Heart Floor 90 where most players are having difficulty with where they are facing 3 wood uh, element heroes and 1 uh, water element hero. And these heroes are Mitasia, Adequis, Vance and Lordrak. And one of the heroes is included as the buff hero which is released today on the 18th of May 2022 where as you can see in the uh, maintenance they have already completed the maintenance and one of the heroes that have made some uh, rework is Vance so this will be much so when you when you're trying to clear the Void Tower Heart Flow 90 it will be quite difficult right now because Vance will be uh, receiving a lot of bonus stuns whenever you use buff in your team so I'll show you how I beat uh, this team uh, once the pre-buff uh, heroes in this game and apart from that I would like to uh, inform you guys that the Ruin of Gods has been temporarily closed due to an issue that they are currently looking into it so they have temporarily closed for now and maybe we'll need to wait for a while for it to come back and take note that you only have one day to uh, claim this compensation diamond rewards before it expires same goes with the maintenance completed so quickly uh, collect your 400 diamonds as well as the 100 diamonds for this before it uh, gets uh, forfeited alright so let's quickly dive through or jump into the things that I want to discuss right now so let's head over to the dungeon for our heart floor 90 and these are the enemies that we will be facing who are Vance, Adequis, Mitasia and Lordrak so let me show you the team that I'll be using to clear this uh, challenge so here are the heroes that I'll be using to clear the Void Tower Heart Floor 90 I have Cyrus and Garrett as my main damage dealer to take down Vance and Adequis especially Mitasia as their, their support hero to keep on healing them and also I have Mitasia on my side to provide AoE healing and single target cleansing to my heroes when they need it when they need it and Bruza is here to accompany Mitasia to protect my squishy heroes especially Cyrus and Garrow where they have very very little health and this makes it easy for the enemies to take them down easily because Bruza has a special trait that mitigates 50% of I think uh, mitigates 100% of the damage to himself but only reduce those uh, mitigated damage up to 50% and those damage will be applied to him instead this allows you to reduce the necessity of uh, uh, heavily depending on revival set and spells to heal your heroes consistently and for the spells I'm currently using Sundering Purgatory to apply the defense down to make it easier to take down their support heroes as well as their damage dealers and guys renewal is there to provide supplementary healing in case uh, Mitasia's healing is still under cooldown so currently my strategy is to use Cyrus and Carol to take down uh, Mitasia first followed by Vance and Adequis and lastly Lordrak and I won't be using Bruzette's Thorn ability because this will instantly trigger uh, Lordrak's ultimate ability to instantly nuke my heroes with his AoE ultimate ability which deals true damage so let me show you them in action Unstoppable! 
We're now moving on to the bathe tree where the highlight of this video starts. So first of all, apply the defense down on all enemies first, followed by Cyrus ultimate ability and target Mitasia since he is the backbone of the enemy's team. And after that, use a use Gyrus attack to deal damage to Mitasia as well. For Bruzek, I use his uh, basic attack to apply the attack down on the enemy attackers, especially Vance, because he'll be dealing the most damage as he is able to bypass uh, those defensive buff. And here I'll use Gyro's ultimate ability to further decrease Mitasia's health. I wasn't fortunate to defeat her within that first round, because due to the lack of uh, attack stats on my heroes. So now the enemy attacking my heroes now and they are dropping their health very very fast so probably i'll use the guys renewal to heal them but it's best to use the guys renewal on the heroes that has the highest health so they will produce more more, uh, more healing i wouldn't worry that much uh, when the health of the heroes drop below because they will be protected by bruzette trait because Bruzet trait, right, they'll be able to mitigate those uh, dam single target uh, dam uh, damage dealt by Vance and Adequist to Bruzet himself. Alright, so we'll continue to plummet uh, Mitasia down. So once Mitasia, the enemy's Mitasia is down, then only then we'll be able to focus on Vance as well as Adequist. Because, right, uh, when their Mitasia is around, each time the enemy perform their attacks, right, they'll be able to heal through Mitasia's gift of life trait. Hence, that's the reason why you will need to focus on Mitasia first. I must the Once you're able to take down Mitasia, finally uh, take down Vance because he's the most annoying hero here. Followed by Adequis, who, who is able to strip away your positive effects and also deal bonus attack whenever your heroes have a, a buff on themselves. And if you are also using Bruzet, similar to my team, I highly advise you do not use Bruzet having special ability to taunt the enemies because this will instantly trigger Blood Rex's ultimate ability to perform the AoE true damage. So just take your time, slowly take down their Mitasia here. Judgment fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> 
Judgment fall apart. Alright, so that's the end of the battle for Flow 90. So let's check out the battle result for my team. And these are the damage dealt. The highest would be Cyrus followed by Garyl. And the damage taken is roughly the same except for Cyrus. And finally, we have, we have the healing dealt. So as usual, the healer will provide the most healing. The reason why the damage received by Cyrus is low because of the block damage. And here are the Flow 90 rewards. 50 Stardust, 180 Diamonds and 2 Star Foodie. So let's check out the other players' uh, team formation on how they clear Floor 90 before the pre-buff of these heroes. As you can see, they use Speed Nucleus as well as Tank Team using like Charles to help control the enemy. They use like Water Prison, Sundering Purgatory and Agile Leap. Alright, so let's go through each of the heroes' stats and gears and see how I equip them in order to clear the Void Tower Heart Floor 90. So this is Cyrus, one of the damage dealers in my team. Here are her total stats, 4000 attack, 112% critical rate, I, this one is a bit too much, probably I can distribute those additional critical rate for more attack, and her critical damage is 253% and her speed is 184. And these are her gears, basically she's equipped in a curse set to allow her to gain some bonus, 35% uh, 35, 35 chance of bonus to launch a bonus attack using this curse set and a guard set to protect her in uh, by having additional 30% uh, max health so in case uh, let's say assuming that Mitasia's uh, I mean if the enemy killed Cyrus and she's revived by Mitasia then she has additional 30% health to sustain the attack which is quite useful when paired with Mitasia when you're equipping your squishy heroes with guard set so let's go through the each uh, piece of equipment. So this is the weapon. 
For Cyrus, you want to prioritize on attack, critical rate, and critical damage for to increase her damage output. Speed is optional unless you want to cut in the enemy. However, having too much speed will somehow cause your team sequence to be out of order because you want your debuffer to go first to apply the defense down. Usually, your debuffer, such as uh, those who has higher focus, such as like uh, Bruzak that I showcased in this uh, Void Tower Heart, he has higher focus compared to Cyrus because he's there to apply Thorn and attack down. And yeah, I would rather have a health percentage or something else instead of speed for this scenario. And this is the helmet. It has a flat stat attack, attack percentage, critical damage, and agility. Agility is quite useful for her, especially for this uh, floor, because most of them are uh, wood element attacker heroes. So having agility will deflect some of those attacks and increase uh, Cyrus' uh, survivability there. And next piece will be the chest plate, we have, which has critical damage, critical rate, and health percentage. Ideally, if this was a legendary piece, the next uh, substat would be attack percentage that would be great for her. Next would be her attack boots. It has some critical damage, agility, speed, and resistance. Resistance is not so, so useful for her. Probably I could go for health percentage or attack, uh, uh, health defense or something that can boost her survivability here. Next would be a critical rate ring with some focus, attack, critical damage, and speed. And finally, we have the attack necklace with some triple roll and critical rate, defense, and critical damage. Alright, ideally this one will be a health percentage or defense percentage because defense uh, because percentage substance will provide more uh, substance value. Uh, glyphs and abilities are all maxed out as usual. So the second damage dealer on my team will be Garrow. Here are her total stats. He has around about 4,300 attack, 100% critical rate, 241% critical damage, 144 speed, and you do not need focus and resistance similar to Cyrus because they do not apply any debuff on the enemies. And he's also geared in a curse set to provide him an additional 35% chance to pop a bonus attack. And warrior set is to boost up his attack by 15%. So this is his weapon with some critical damage, speed, critical rate and health. Ideally this would be a health percentage. Speed is essential for Garrow because most attacker heroes are pretty slow and having additional speed will allow you to begin the turn before the enemies especially the supporter enemy heroes uh, in the PvE uh, area. And this is the helmet with some attack, critical damage and agility. As usual agility is useful to deflect the attack because deflecting the attacks will reduce the damage by 50%. And this is his uh, chest plate with some health, critical rate, critical damage attack. This is one of the good pieces for curse set as uh, for the attacker heroes. And this is uh, attack boots with some flat attack, resistance, agility, and critical rate. Uh, sometimes resistance will be quite useful in this scenario because it will prevent the enemies from applying those uh, defense down or attack down on the enemies uh, by the enemies. So this will help improve their survivability but however at the higher difficulty, uh, difficulty stages these enemies will, be, will have higher focus stats so having resistance also will not help much for higher difficulties. And this is a critical rate ring with some precision, speed, critical damage and defense. Precision is useful for arena because it prevents the enemy from deflecting your attack. So if you have higher precision on your attacker heroes, they'll be able to deal critical rate, uh, critical damage to the big affinity uh, enemies such as like the water uh, enemies such as like Lord Rack in the Void Tower Heart Floor 90. And finally, we have the uh, attack a necklace with some double roll and health percentage, focus, critical rate, and speed. And his glyphs and abilities are all maxed out. The third hero on my team would be Miteja. She is the supporter hero to heal my allies with her ultimate ability, Trans Synergy, for AoE healing as well as cleansing and single target uh, spot healing. The reason I use Miteja in this uh, floor void tower hut because most of the enemies there are wood. So if you if I use like black horn there, black horn will receive fifty percent more damage. Hence, I need to use Mitesia to provide the heat, the support to my attacker, uh, attacker heroes. 
And this are her stats, she has around about 26,000 health, 2,000 defense, 147 speed, and 100, over 100% resistance here. Ideally, you want to have around about 120 to 150% resistance to prevent the enemies from applying those uh, defense down or those uh, sort of negative effect that decreases her survivability, especially for the defense. Alright, so basically that's her stats. Let's move on to her gears. And currently, I'm equipping her a uh, revival set, which allows her to restore 10% of her max health at the start of the turn, or 20% if under 50% health. This is quite useful to boost her survivability so that her health will be always restored, and making her the last last person standing to revive everyone up back. And let's go through her gears. This is her weapon with triple roll on health percentage and speed and resistance. This is the helmet with double roll on defense. Uh, health percentage and resistance and, and agility. These are the one of the best substat group for supported heroes that does not apply negative effect on the enemies or they, they just apply oh, how do I say they just provide healing and those things only without uh without requiring any focus to apply the negative effect. And this is the chest plate with quadruple health percentage, resistance and uh single roll on defense percentage. Next would be the health boots with triple roll and flat stats health, defense percentage, resistance and attack. This is the health ring with defense focus, resistance and critical damage. Focus and critical damage is not useful for her because it's ideally uh, used for attacker heroes who is capable of applying debuff. And finally, we have the defense necklace to provide her with some defense so that her health doesn't drop too quickly when she receives damage from the enemies. And this uh, defense percentage necklace has a double roll on health percentage, speed, resistance, and attack. These are her glyphs. Basically, they are all maxed out as well as her abilities. And finally, we have the fourth hero in the team, Bruzak. He is one of the epic heroes that were that was a uh, uh, recently buff, which is today. And what the buff is, I think. Let's see. Huh? Oh yeah, I think they only buff his attack to increase the damage output. I think the rest are the same. Oh yeah, yeah. Another, th another thing is they also buff his battle cry to apply a shield after he turned all of the enemies so that he will be able to take on those damage from the taunted enemies. Yeah. So there's only two buffs, which is the battle cry. And as well as his basic attack, ideally I would ha I would um, I would want the chance to apply the attack down to be higher because fifty percent chance is too little as you notice during the battle. And I try to use Bruzet, he occasionally doesn't apply this attack down, which uh, decreases his usability for his basic attack. If he could consistently apply this attack down, this makes it uh makes him one of the best hero to uh reduce the enemy's damage output, especially for vans and a decrease these two attackers heroes. Alright, here are his total stats. He has around about 23,000 health, 2,100 defense, 148 speed, 90% focus, and 30% resistance. So for Bruzet, since he's taking a lot of damage from the enemies, especially from the taunt, as well as the single target damage whenever my ally drop health drops below 50%, he will receive 50% of the damage into his uh, health so that you want to have high, high more health to tank those damage and also you will need focus to apply the attack down as well if you if you want to reduce the damage enemy's damage output he also has the taunt but i did not use taunt because this will instantly trigger lord rex ultimate ability to perform the aoe attack which deals true damage and I do not want that to trigger, that's why I did not use his taunt ability. So let's go through his gears. I also equip him in a revival set similar to Mitasia so that he can heal himself after taking those brute damage. And let's go through the equipment. This is his uh, weapon. Uh, double roll on health percentage. Uh, uh, yeah, double roll on health percentage. Focus is useful for him. Attack is useless for him because as you notice, he it is very little damage, that's why having attack is also doesn't make sense on him. Ideally, this one would be a defense percentage and 
uh, what's that called? Dance per percentage or something that boosts up his uh, survivability here. Resistance also will be useful because it also prevents enemies from decreasing his uh, defense so that he can tank more damage. And this is his helmet with double row on focus, agility, critical and defense. Critical is not so useful for him. Uh, for his uh, chest plate, he has double row agility, precision, focus and health. Then for his boots, he has a health primary stats, agility, triple row on speed, defense. If you're able to get, uh, let's say, a, a speed boots on him with a health percentage, defense percentage and focus, that would be ideal for him because you want your debuffer to go first to apply the uh, centering purgatory defense down and those torn, uh, torn abilities as well as the defense up buff. And this is his uh, health ring with uh, double row attack, double row of focus and some precision. Ideally, this one would be a defense percentage to push up his survivability here. Uh, agility and defense percentage. And finally, we have the defense necklace with uh, speed, health, focus and health. Yeah, I think only the uh, boots, ring, necklace and weapon can gain speed substats. So, Ideally, you want to find speed substat for your ring as well. If you are not able to farm sufficient good raider sets, pair with uh, the re uh, revival set here. His glyphs and abilities are all maxed up. Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you learned a thing or two. This is from my uh, playthrough on how I clear the Void Tower Heart Floor 90 with uh, Garel, Cyrus, Mitasia, as well as Bruzet. This is one of the best showcases for Bruzet because it's there to protect the squishy heroes especially Garel, Cyrus and Mitasia if the enemies try to uh, take them down when the health is below 50% and if you enjoy this uh, type of content be sure to give it a like on this video uh, subscribe if you haven't and also ring the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I post a new video to this channel and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye